be Sunday. How's everyone? Got the roast on? Everybody has said to me, you know, they go through the week working and toiling and all the rest of the things. And they look forward to Sunday because it's English man foodie. <laughs> I've got a treat for you now. Remember the old days, guys, when you was coming from school and, uh, you know, you get through the winter and, the, and you get home and mom has got the dinner on. And she said, what do you want, son? What do you want to eat? I said, you know what I feel like, mom? I feel like some bastontini. She said, what? Bastontini? <laughs> bastontini. We're going to do a versus. We're going to do the best one, what I remember when I was young. Everybody says, Steve, you a brummy? Well, I am part of a brummy because we lived on the border in Birmingham. But I was born on the place called the Tantony in West Bromwich. Uh, it's called the Black Country now. It's, it was a old, old mini forges and steelworks and everything in West Bromwich in that area. Anyway, more to the point, we're going to do Italy versus England. <laughs> so we're going to do English. Bird's eye, fish fingers in crispy butter. Eight fish fingers with 100% fish fillet. Lots of omega-3. Three minutes on the hob. Find out where your fish comes from. Now all we're gonna do, extra large bastontini. Fish fingers in Italian. I can't read anything, but I'm seeing this very important thing here. XL. They're beating us, guys. They've got 10 fish fingers. So how could that be? They're the same size. And the Italians have managed to put 10 extra large fish fingers in a small box. And we've just, we just done normal eight. They've all beat us. It's cheaper. Bird's eye has got the name. Captain Bird's Eye. So we're going to do a versus. England versus Italy. I've got some uh, mash ready, some peas. Very easy. Uh, if many people uh, are not from UK, we used to do fish fingers, mashed potatoes. It's just simple boiled potatoes until they're falling apart. Some butter, some milk. And peas mostly we used to have in the old days when I was young. I'm not sure if anybody else. Tell me in the comments what you used to have with your fish fingers. I did already did the one, the butty. Because we used to do when mum couldn't be bothered. She said, well, put, put it in a butty or a sarni. Uh, lots of different things. Anyway, I've got my nose and forks ready. We're going to do verses. We're going to put the heat, the oven hob on. We'll put it on full blast first of all to get some. Because it's, I hate the hob. Electric hob is so difficult. Anyway, these are the these are the mini bird's eye fish fingers, made from a hundred percent fish fillet. Look, they're so small, not like the extra large Italians. And the thing is, are you going to get in the box, Steve? Wow! You're not kidding. Ten extra large. <laughs> They're smaller. Only by a fraction, but they're smaller. They've got different breadcrumbs. They're made with 100% merluzzo. Uh, it's a white fish, it's a fillet fish. We get it here in Malta. If you didn't know, I'm Englishman in Malta. I do videos all around Malta. I meet different people, I go eating, I go adventures, go festers, you name it. I'll try and bring Malta to you. So I thought I'd do this separate channel, which I come every week on a Sunday, show you all the different things I find, and I try and go back to my childhood sometimes. So England versus Italian. I don't, I bought, I got these little flags. <laughs> Italy, I couldn't find any colors, so I thought, oh, I can't get, I can't put them in here. I thought I put, but I don't need to, because one's orange and one's white. The British is very, look how anemic it is, the British one. And the Italian is golden. But there's a bit of a swizz. Extra, it's even got it here in Italian. Extra grande. Grande, big in Italian. So what, let's put them on. 
Let's put it on the up. It'll work if you put it on the up, Steve. And drop the frame down a bit. Steve, it don't have a flame on electric hob. Yeah, I wish it did. Anyway, these are the extra large. They take no time at all. Steve, you didn't get a plate ready. Shall I put two and two? I think that's the best. And then it comes up to four total. The bridges are a bit anemic. It's sizzling away. I'll need to have a bit of a break. Because I have to... Whoa, look at all this. I have to have a break. Because what I'm going to do... Get the potatoes on the go and the peas. Mashed potatoes are really popular in UK. Many of my... Uh, I've got people from all over the world, Steve. <laughs> Englishman foodie every week on Sunday. If I get a bit more popular, if you get me, you, you there, if you get me over the thousand, I might go to two a week. How about that? No, Steve. <laughs> we couldn't stand you two a week. <laughs> I've got to... Um, I do two a week of English Man in Malta. That's a link below. All the links are below if you want to see me on Facebook, on Instagram and things like that. I do little bits of videos. And all the links if you want to help the channel of English Man, of Patreon and all those sort of things. Anyway, but today, get, get back to it, Steve. Today we're doing Fish Fingers. England versus Italy. Who's going to win, guys? Two minutes. Potatoes on the go. Peas. He would... In the comments, guys, what do the Italians have with their fish fingers? Oh, have a bit of pasta. Back soon. <laughs> While you were away, what was it? A few minutes, but I've worked blooming hard. No, I've done the mashed potatoes. I did some potatoes, just a couple of potatoes just for me. And some peas. Oh, I need to sieve these, but I think I'll take them out with a fork anyway. So let's me. Uh, this is how we. This is how we Brits have um, fish fingers. Well, we did in the old days. It's been many years since I've been back home. Let's put a few peas with it. I can't be bothered to sieve it out, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna put my sieve. So, here we go. We've got the Italians here on the right. And we've got the Brits on the left. Hey, they're sizzling nicely. The Brits didn't let us down because they got a little bit brown, but not as lovely. Look at the Italians, how lovely they got. They're sort of like a golden. Uh, Steve, it's just color. Yeah, I know, but look how nice. Come and have a look. They look golden. So they're golden. Uh, they're golden brown with meluzzo. It's a, it's a white fish here in the Mediterranean. And this is cod. So we're gonna try the Brits first. Let's turn you down a little bit. What controversial guys. Go and see. <laughs> I watch a guy on YouTube, MacMaster. Say hello from Englishman. Go in the comments and say, hey, Englishman in Malta said hello. He's a, he's a workaholic, he's not like me. His videos every day, he's traveling all over UK. The Mac Master, controversial. HP or tomato? I'm gonna to put tomato. I'm gonna to put a blob of tomato. Someone told me, last time I had a bit of a joke. These are Heinz farting jars. Steve, they don't need to fart. Turn them upside down and leave them like that. It works, look. But the only problem is, sometimes they seep out the bottom. Anyway, a bit of tartar. Ooh, it's like blood, so hot. Everything's melting. It went everywhere, but anyway. We're gonna try Italian and English fish fingers. And straight away, look at the English. It's like broken apart. This is bird's eye. We'll have a bit of mash. Fish fingers have got a, a really bread crummy taste. It's mostly bread crumbs. 
hide it in your white fish. That's bird's eye. Nice and crunchy. This is the uh, Italian version of fish fingers. <laughs> I'm a Brit, but I tell you, the Italians have won. What a lovely fish, lovely tasting. Mind you, Miller's so if you're ever in, uh, if you're ever in Malta, and you can go and have it fresh from the fish from Marsha Slark or places like that. Very nice, the Italian, very, very nice. This looks a little bit anemic, bird's eye. I think they've lost direction. Hey, the mashed potato is lovely. I think I like the Italian version. Probably because I've been so many years here. The fish is a lot nicer. It, it tastes like... Um, it tastes like fish. I like a solid fish. This is more like puree. Straight away, the butter is nicer from the Italian one. The breadcrumbs. Did I tell you the mashed potato is lovely? We're a bit weird here. We have like weird potatoes. Sometimes <coughs> you can boil over 20 minutes. Sometimes it takes 40 minutes or 50 minutes to boil, to make a mash. It must be the starch, and it must be the sun. It's got something to do with something, anyway. I don't know, guys, what do you think? The Italians have got a really, a nice taste. Maruzzo. It's a bit more, if you go to, uh, we hardly find fresh cod here, anyway. Sometimes you do find, because obviously it's a North Atlantic fish. Maruzzo is a, is a Mediterranean fish. It's more tasty. And this is like a bit of a mash, a mash up. Not much in it, but the mashed potatoes is lovely. <laughs> okay, guys. That was British versus Italian. I don't know if I said English. Sorry, everybody else in UK. <laughs> British fish, uh, fish fingers against Italian. Take care, everybody. I don't know. To, I think I prefer the Italian. Steve, that's the last time we're going to watch your channel. Oh, well. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Give me a thumbs up. And you. Yes, you down there. You didn't subscribe from last week. Get me over a thousand, guys. I really appreciate it. You help this, you help me. You help the channel and YouTube will start promoting the channel a bit more. Take care, everybody. Fish fingers, Italy versus Britain. Bye, guys.